A local deputy sworn to uphold the law is now in jail. He's accused of helping drug dealers while wearing the uniform. Action News' Ryan Smith is live on the action cam with a lot more on this. And Ryan, fellow deputies helped bring him down. Mark, this was the culmination of a nearly three-month investigation into Deputy Randy Strickland here at the Pierce County Sheriff's Office. According to investigators, Strickland was caught providing security not for the people he was paid to protect, but for meth dealers. We're none above the law. We took an oath to serve and protect and uphold the Constitution, and that's what we expect. Pierce County Sheriff Ramsey Bennett says he learned over the summer that one of his own was acting outside the law. Deputy Randy Strickland is now under arrest, facing a federal drug charge. According to investigators, Strickland allegedly agreed to act as lookout for people he believed were meth dealers. The criminal activity occurred in rural portions of Pierce County, outside Blackshear, Georgia, all while wearing his uniform and driving his police vehicle. Well, I think this is a black eye for law enforcement, period, but specifically for the office of the sheriff, you know, this is, uh, this will be uh, a black eye for, for this office and take some time to overcome, but I want to ensure the public that, that you know, we, we will police ourselves as, as well as policing them. Sheriff Bennett called in the feds to conduct their own investigation. The ATF special agent in charge said Strickland betrayed the community he swore to protect. Strickland is now in custody of U.S. Marshals. And Strickland made his first appearance in federal court this morning. Coming up all new tonight at 6, I'm gathering a reaction from folks here in Blackshear, Georgia. News they tell me that is sending shockwaves through this small town community. Reporting live tonight from Blackshear, Georgia, I'm Ryan Smith, CBS 47 Action News. That drug trafficking charge against Strickland carries a maximum prison sentence of 40 years and a fine of up to $5 million.